part, this is gonna be my first nail video on my daughter. She has choose the color Illuminati, which is a glow in the dark, flirty. She's like a bluish purplish. Lola, she want a marble kind of like mine using this two color and then she choose striking so this is the color combo that we're doing for her today this is gonna be my first time showing you how to do nails and somebody else so let's get to work so the first thing that i do when i start prepping the nails is to push back all the cuticles using a cuticle pusher i got this one from amazon <laughs> Once I go over the 10 nails, then I take my nail drill and I take this bit that is called cuticle pusher as well. And this helps me to remove any dead skin that is left on the nail. Once I'm done with the 10 nails, I want to make sure I remove all the particles using a brush or you can use a makeup brush. I make sure there is no particles I go back with this polished nail side edge and I go back to the cuticles just to make sure there is no dead skin around so that can help to prep my nails a lot easier and faster once I'm done I make sure I dust any residues that are left on nails then i proceed to file i'm using this file that i got off for amazon it comes in a pack it's 100 over 80 and i just want to make sure i shaped her nails very nicely because as you can see her nails are very uneven so i just want to make sure they're all kind of even shaping the nail I go back with this uh, nail bit it's called sign paper grinder and I just want to remove all the shine from her nail nothing too crazy just a little bit violent on her nail like I said to remove all the shine <laughs> her nails I use the car lash nail prep dehydrator this is a step number one and this is just gonna dehydrate your nail and absorb all the natural oils so as after I apply this step number one to the 10 nails I go ahead with a max one which is step number two and I apply thin coat to her 10 nails normally I do two coats when it comes to my nails because I don't remove the clear deep powder that I use as a base on my nails but because it is for her I only did one coat um, because I don't really don't mind if it lives on her nails because she's not gonna have those nails for a long time Now, one thing that I did, the same as my nail, is that I went ahead and did one coat of clear. And for this set, I used a double deep liquid. Here, I'm applying one coat of deep base and just deepen it in. Um, this was a little bit, little bit difficult to do with her because we were not sitting in front of each other. We were like more like next to each other. 
but what I did afterwards was just take my cuticle pusher and instead of dipping her finger into the powder I decided to just use the cuticle pusher and just pour the powder to her finger which makes the process super easier early here I am instead of dipping her finger I decided to use, use the cuticle pusher and pour the powder on her finger which will make the process so much easier the co next color that I'm taking is Illuminati this is a glow glow in the dark powder it's kind of like a whitish but not really white and she wanted this um, color to be on her thumb and on her finger and just like I did the first process I'm just doing a very thin layer and then dip it on the powder and then went ahead and did a second layer and once again dip it on the powder once I dust off the, the excess powder then I activated both of her nails before I move on to the next color dusting off the excess powder and before it activate I go ahead and take a wooden cuticle pusher and I take the pointy side and just go around the cuticles to make sure that line between the nail and the cuticle is perfect and that the powder is not over the cuticles going to use a double dip step number three which is the activator this is what is going to help that nail or that um, deep powder harden so you can file and buff um, I did decide to do one color at the time just because it was a little easier and that way I don't mix colors or just use my base when it will still have the activator the next color that she wanted on her ring finger was flirty by Rebel Nails this is like a very very light blue and like I said she only wanted this on her ring finger so um, dipping was the best choice for me and here I am once again making sure that there is no powder on those cuticles before I decide to activate <music> she went for is the color is striking um, this has a little bit of bluish purplish um, particles and it's just beautiful it, it does have chunky glitter that's why you see me deep in my finger and kind of tap it to make sure all these big pieces of glitter do not stick up and anything that I see around the cuticle I rather to remove it instead of try to place it now one thing that I like to do is to brush off just in case that there is um, glitter that are not have not stick to the nail so they can come off and so once I reapply it again you know the glitter lays nice and neat on the nail <music> That I forgot to mention is that I do like to encapsulate the glitter um, using clear powder here after I did that I'm just activating so that way I'm able to buff and file the glitter without removing any of the chunky glitter 
So since she wanted a nail to be marble, I went ahead and added one extra layer of the clear D powder so I can work on that marble on top of the two layers. So for this marble effect, I did something a little different. I pour out activator into a shot glass and just use a small um, brush and then I went ahead and dip my brush into the activator, remove a little bit of the excess and I take a little bit of powder at the time and went ahead and mixed the two colors, first the blue, then the purple, blue, purple, blue, purple until I covered the entire nail. I did apply activator again once I was done with the marble so the activator can harden the nail because sometimes it does take a lot of activator for the nail to harden when it comes to this kind of marbling. These take a lot, of, a lot longer than a regular marble where you just, just um, pour the powder and just mix it with a cuticle pusher. Um, but I like doing it like this because it gives me more a precision and I can play a little bit more with the colors versus just dipping your finger. process but it's worth it um, then I went ahead and added a little bit of glitter to the nail electric drill and I took this nail bit that is to polish around the edges of the nail just to make sure that doesn't look squirty or just to make sure everything blends very nice and I just went around the cuticle <laughs> paper grinder and just want to make sure the nail is nice and smooth, it's smooth. as you can see once I'm done filing I kind of go over it and touch it to make sure there is nothing rough on the nail and if there is then I'm able to remove it so to give it that smooth looking and that smooth feeling to the nail like all the nails are smooth I go back to, to my 100 over 180 nail file and I just want to make sure I've shaped the nails because sometimes while you deepen um, the nail of the shape kind of disappears so you just want to make sure you know you continue to shape the nail Once 
once I got my nails all finally smooth, I'm going to use the double tip number four. This is the top coat and I'm going to apply two thin layers to each of the nails. Of course, I do one nail at a time, one layer at a time. top coat is dry I go with my rebel nail cuticle oil this is infused with wildflower this is to nourish and moisture the cuticle and this makes the nail look super good now one thing that I did off camera it was I kind of did like a flower design on her nails using the same method that I did to do the marble um, using the activator the brush and the deep powder and it kind of turned out really 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 nice to be my first time doing it um, you're gonna see that when I do a little bit close up it's like I said it's my first time doing a little flower design and I'm super excited but this is the results this is how her nail looks don't forget if you like the video give the videos a thumbs up if you want to continue seeing more videos about how I do my nails let me know in the comments down below and with this being said he will be on to the next one.